here today to um, support my community and to um, bring a message that our our community needs to get justice. Our livelihood was taken away, you know, like one of the main things that our people um, did was had to do with the river, you know, and that was taken away from our people. And so, you know, I, I remember thinking, you know, maybe this is why we have all these social issues, you know, maybe this is why people are, are living the way that they live because you know, so much was done, you know, that that they just become numb, you know. But for myself, I, I refuse to be a victim, you know. That's what I, I decided when I was a teenager. I don't want to be a victim. Look what they hit us with. They hit us with 60 scoops, but we managed to come back up again. They put us in residential school. They tried to put us down, but we come back up again. No matter what they hit us with, we always come back up again. And no matter what they hit us with in the future, we will come back up again. We're not going away. We will live in Grassy Narrows as long as this world exists. Just like we've been living there for thousands of years, we are not going away. They've asked us, there's questions people ask. One of them, why do you keep eating the fish? Well, that's been a part of our diet for years and centuries. They've asked us to relocate. We're not going to relocate because we've been living there for thousands of years. And so this afternoon, I'm asking you to support us. I'm asking you, and I thank you for being here with us. We are asking the federal government for justice. We're asking the provincial government for justice. We are asking them to clean the river. We are asking them to compensate our people properly. We are asking them to, to fix a problem that should have been fixed 50 years ago. Yeah. Fix it now. Fix it while our elders are alive. Fix it while we're still here. Fix it while it's in your power. Today's the day for justice. We will not stand by and let people die. Let people die off. We won't let that happen to any more of our You know, like today, the young people that spoke, that touched my heart. But at the same time, it broke my heart because our young, like the young ones shouldn't have to fight, you know, this should have been dealt with long time ago. And there's no, no doctors in the, like our area that even know what mercury symptoms are. You know, there's mental health issues, there's neurological issues. My ears keep ringing all the time. And uh, it really makes me sad. But the only thing is, I'm, well, what I'm happy about is uh, they're going to put a mercury home on our on our river system. I mean, our, our in our in our on our home reserve, they're going to be for mercury crisis victims like myself. Like people, like even today, now today in 2019. The life expectancy of our people is low. You know, people are leaving early because of symptoms, because they're, you know, being misdiagnosed, they're not being treated properly, they're not, you know, they're not, um, there's just, there's like no, no, nobody's educated, you know, in our area to look after our people. That's why it's very important that we have that Mercury home and that we have people 
in there that know how to look after our people and I think it's our people that know how to look after our people. be an election coming up and this government said that that um, they were going to give us this mercury home and now that a new election is coming up you know there there hasn't been any anything um, like to even begin building the home like that home should have been like being built by now but you know it's there's nothing happening and um, it needs to be in trust, you know, so that that it's secure that this government lives up to what they said. I think the more that people know out there, like around the world, the more they know what what the what Canada is doing to Grassy Narrows, then the more pressure will be on them.